Greetings, friends, and welcome to The Bright Side, your nutritional program dedicated to the understanding of the vast world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. I am your host, Pharmacist Ben, nutritional pharmacist from Boulder, Colorado. I use nutritional supplements where other healthcare practitioners use toxic pharmaceutical drugs and sometimes deadly medical procedures. If you suspect that there are natural nutritional roads to your vitality and health and well-being and to addressing your health challenges, whatever they may be, but you don't know where to begin, you have come to the right place. As you listen to The Bright Side every day, you are more and more in control of your body. You are more and more knowledgeable, and you know you can overcome any health challenge. That is why we are here every day on The Bright Side, helping clear up the sometimes confusing world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. Over the last 31 years of practicing pharmacy, I have seen drug-free recoveries from diabetes and hypertension and obesity, skin diseases like psoriasis, eczema, rosacea, acne, digestive ailments, autoimmune issues of all kinds, recoveries that by the standards of modern medicine can only be called a miracle, but what is in the world of the body, what is in the world of biology, standard operating procedure because the human biological system is a healing system, it's a regenerating system, it is designed divinely to heal and renew itself on a moment to moment basis. And while some folks may call that healing, renewing, regenerating system a miracle, it really is just the way the body works. If you have questions about health or nutrition or prescription drugs, we are here for you. 844-236-6010 is our number, 844-236-6010. If you have questions about the longevity products, longevity business, health challenges you or a loved one may be dealing with, if you want to wean yourself off your meds and get on a good nutritional supplement program, we can help you do that. 844-236-6010 is our number. And if you have a success story you'd like to share or if you just want to contribute to the conversation, 844 236 6010 is our number on the bright side. If you want to purchase any of the longevity products you hear advertised or recommended on the program, please go to my websites, brightsideben.com, criticalhealthnews.com, or pharmacistben.com. We've got news stories, blog posts, videos up at all the websites, and you can purchase products directly off the website as well. You can also sign up to join the Brightside Ben team off the website for a one time off all three websites, criticalhealthnews.com, pharmacistben.com, and brightsideben.com for a one-time $25 fee. You can start a business. If you're an entrepreneur, you can make uh, make a little bit of money, be your own boss, enjoy all the tax benefits associated with having your own business. If you just want to get your products at the wholesale price, you can do that as well for a one-time $25 fee. Head over to brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, or criticalhealthnews.com. You can also call the phone team at 866 866- 735-2470. That's 866-735-2470. Also want to remind you to please check out our Truth Skin Health products, Truth Balm, Truth Omega-6 Healing Cream, Truth Serum, and Truth Retinol 5% Gel, all made with generous amounts of fat-soluble, premium, stabilized, moisturizing, skin-softening, anti-wrinkle vitamin C. The good stuff, not the cheap stuff. The expensive stuff, not the cheapo stuff that you get in most skincare products. You can also get uh, our Truth Retinol 5% Gel, and you'll get the benefits of a high dose of retinol as well. All our Truth Treatment products are up at truthtreatments.com, truthtreatments.com. Okay, 844-236-6010 is our number on the bright side. We do have lines open, so now's the time to get on board. I want to continue talking about one of my all-time favorite nutritional foods or beverages, actually, and one of the world's most popular beverages after water. And certainly one of the world's most nutritious beverages, and that is green tea. Green tea is recognized, as we've been talking about now for the last couple of days, as providing a wide range of health benefits, cognition benefits, cardiovascular benefits. It protects you, you, uh, your blood vessels from the rancidity of cholesterol. Cholesterol itself not being that much of an issue, but rancid or oxidized cholesterol, so-called oxy-cholesterol, is certainly a problem. All oxidized substances can be problematic, as we've said, and green tea is a very powerful antioxidant particularly for fats and particularly for cholesterol. Green tea also has provides the body with cancer protection. If you're trying to drop a few pounds, there's a lot of research that talks about green tea as an effective weight loss supplement. In a 2010 Oklahoma State University study published in the Journal of the American College of Nutrition done on 35 overweight people, researchers found that after eight weeks, participants 
drinking green tea decreased their body weight and showed improvements in their body mass index. Authors of the study conclude green tea, a quote, green tea beverage consumption at four cups a day or extract supplementation at two capsules a day for eight weeks, significantly decreased body weight and BMI, unquote, BMI being body mass index. And quote, green tea beverage lowered lipid peroxidation, that is the oxidation of fats and cholesterol and fat damage, suggesting the role of green tea flavonoids in improving features of metabolic syndrome in obese patients, unquote. Metabolic syndrome being insulin resistance syndrome that's associated with all kinds of health challenges from blood pressure problems to cardiovascular problems to weight problems to thyroid problems. Even Alzheimer's disease is now thought to at least be partially related to metabolic syndrome or insulin resistance. And it's no coincidence that green tea actually protects the brain from dementia. Green tea improves cognition. Green tea improves memory. You think this stuff is awesome? It is unbelievable that a beverage this simple and this tasty can have all these kinds of health benefits. Another study on overweight individuals, this one was published in the Journal of Nutrition in 2009 from Provident Clinical Research in Indiana. Researchers found that exercisers who consumed green tea had a greater loss of belly fat than those who didn't. Researchers concluded that their results, quote, suggest that consumption of a beverage containing green tea catechins, remember that's the active ingredient in green tea, the catechins, may enhance exercise-induced loss of abdominal fat and improve circulating fats and triglyceride levels, unquote. That means participants who drank green tea lowered their blood fats and reduced belly fat at the same time. Some of these weight loss benefits certainly can be attributed to the caffeine content of green tea. We know caffeine can help you lose a little bit of weight. And also caffeine probably accounts for the nootropic, that is the learning enhancing properties of green tea, well-recognized learning enhancing properties. Green tea has been shown to help memory, attentiveness, especially on senior citizens, on elderly folks. Studies done on senior citizens in Asian tea drinking countries like Korea, Japan, and China found that elderly folks who regularly drink green tea score better on information processing, attention, and memory skills than those who don't. If you're thinking you want to go get some green tea, you're probably smart. I do it every morning. I'm sipping on it right now, actually, and it goes great with Beyond Tangy Tangerine, by the way. Mix maybe a little bit, maybe half a teaspoon of Beyond Tangy Tangerine and with a, a big old mug of of uh, green tea, and you'll get nutritional benefits, you'll get caffeine benefits, you'll get EC, uh, EGCG benefits. Yesterday we talked about green tea for dealing with prostate health issues, BPH, prostatitis, prostate cancer. Many of these benefits for prostate health are the result of the EGCG, epigallocatechin gallate, EGCG's effects on hormones, especially estrogen and progesterone. Yes, the active ingredients in green tea have hormonal properties, and that hormonal effect means that not only are you going to get prostate benefits, prostate health benefits, but you get lots of other benefits as well. For example, there is a chemical that the body makes called DHT. DHT is a type of, uh, type of testosterone. It's actually super testosterone. It's got the same effects as testosterone, but, but it, it just increased potency. And it turns out that uh, green tea can be a DHT inhibitor. DHT, uh, excessive secretion, I should say, of DHT is associated with hair loss. It's associated with acne. It's associated with prostate problems. And green tea is a DHT inhibitor. That means it can improve male pattern baldness. It can improve blemishes and pimples. It can improve prostate disease. Keep in mind, DHT is not toxic. I'm not saying DHT is a, a bad thing. DHT definitely plays an important role when it comes to health. DHT is important for balancing out estrogen. And there are times when you need to have a certain amount of DHT because it is super testosterone. It really amps up the effects of testosterone. But you got to keep it under control. And one of the best ways to keep DHT under control is to use green tea. And this can be helpful for folks dealing with alopecia, male pattern baldness, prostate disease, and acne. In fact, Proscar, which is a uh, prescription drug for the prostate, and it's, uh, it's and, uh, well, it's, it's uh, other, other name, it's AKA, which is Propecia. They're both the same drug. They're both DHT inhibitors, like green tea. So green tea is a natural Proscar and Propecia. All right, I'm Pharmacist Ben, 844-236-6010 is our number. On the bright side, we'll be back right after this. All right, we are back on the bright side. 
I am Pharmacist Ben. Thanks for joining us. We're on the air Monday through Friday, 8 to 9 Pacific, 10 to 11 Central Time, and 24-7 on the archive pages of brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, and criticalhealthnews.com. You can also head over to benfuchsarchives.com and get the search engine with all the programs. If you miss a program and you want to review one, uh, review a program, you can search by topics. That's benfuchsarchives.com. Thank you to Peter in the UK for setting that one up. Also, uh, we've got archives at at brightsideben.com. We have blog post archives and video archives at criticalhealthnews.com and pharmacistben.com. And you can purchase all your longevity products off our websites, brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, and criticalhealthnews.com. And you can purchase our Truth Skin Health products if you're dealing with aging skin or blemish-prone skin or dark and dark spots, hyperpigmentation. If you want an overall anti-aging skincare product, you need your retinol. If you're using a skincare program that doesn't feature retinol, you are missing the boat. In fact, I don't even like calling my products skincare products. They're treatments. They're not products. They're not skincare. I don't have a skincare line. These are treatments that I developed in my pharmacy, in my compounding pharmacy for healing the skin and for anti-aging the skin. And the reason they're, I call them treatments is because you use just tiny little doses infinitesimal compared to the kind of doses you use on most creams. That's because there's no fillers, no waxes, no water, no silicon, no oil, no emulsifiers, no surfactants. It's just active material and functional material. It's just stuff that's going to do something on your skin. It's just ingredients that are going to make a difference on your skin. Never made sense to me why we pay for 95% nothingness, 95% cotton candy, 95% fluff in our skincare products. Skincare is a scam from day one. And it's not fair. Not that you can't do anything to the skin by using topical strategies. You can, but you have to have high concentrations of actives. You have to have some way of delivering those actives. And you don't want to be wasting your money on silicon and oil and preservatives and fragrances and water and things your skin doesn't need or doesn't want. That's true. 95 to 99% of most skincare products is just fluff and filler and nothingness. I don't care if you're paying a $500 an ounce or $50 an ounce or $5 an ounce. It's true about the entire business. With one exception, and that's Truth Treatment products. TruthTreatments.com. You can check them, check them all out. Truth Balm, Truth Serum, Truth Omega-6 Healing Cream, and our Truth Retinol 5% Gel. All right, so continuing on with green tea and DHT, dihydrotestosterone, DHT is super testosterone. It's associated with a whole bunch of health challenges. Not that it's not important. It's definitely important stuff. But too much DHT is linked to, uh, is linked to uh, a male pattern baldness. It's linked to prostate disease and acne. The two major drugs that are used to treat the prostate and to treat male pattern baldness, Propecia and Pros- Proscar, which are both the same chemical, finasteride is the technical name of the chemical. Both of these drugs are DHT inhibitors. But you can use green tea to get a natural DHT inhibitor, and in this way, Green tea is like a natural, non-toxic finasteride or, or Propecia or Proscar. Probably not as potent, but certainly not as toxic either. And of course, you get multiple benefits, as always. When you use nutrition, when you use nutritional components, nutritional substances to help heal or help treat or help prevent disease in the body, you get multiple benefits. You don't get side effects, you get side benefits. With green tea, you take your green tea for your prostate, you get cardiovascular health benefits, mental health benefits, skin health benefits, anti-diabetic health benefits, anti-obesity health benefits. So testosterone is converted into DHT. Bodybuilders, this is why athletes and bodybuilders and weightlifters and other high testosterone producers, or if you're, if, uh, for athletes who are using anabolic steroids, DHT inhibition is a very important strategy. It's a very desirable strategy for reducing some of the unpleasant side effects associated with excessive secretion of male hormone production or pharmaceutical injection or ingestion. Of, uh, of anabolic steroids. Using green tea can be very helpful in this regard. If you're on any kind of male uh, if, uh, hormone replacement therapy, male hormone, hormone, hormone replacement therapy, or for that matter, female hormone replacement therapy, using green tea can provide you with some protection from some of the side effects. Excessive production of DHT can also be linked to a particularly unpleasant health condition that women suffer from, something called 
PCOS. We've talked about PCOS in the past. We'll talk about it in the future because it's a serious problem. Polycystic ovaries. Too much or uh, 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 the formation of cysts in the ovaries. Polycystic ovarian syndrome is the technical name. Polycystic ovarian syndrome occurs when ovarian tissue grows in excess, and this can result in hormone imbalances that can lead to obesity, weight gain, acne, hair loss, body hair, reproductive problems, PMS, anxiety, depression. It's a big problem. This is a mess. PC PCOS is a mess, as anybody who has it will tell you. And it's shockingly common and becoming more so. I remember when I first heard of uh, PCOS in the 1990s, I had to do a lot of research, pre-internet research. I had to go to the library. Back in the, man, doing research before the internet was not easy. You had to go to the library and pull out all kinds of books and take out books and research the books and go to the microfiche. I remember doing a lot of research back in the early 1990s on PCOS to figure out exactly what was happening. These days, pretty much, well, at least all physicians and, or most physicians and OBGYNs are familiar with P, uh, PCOS, polycystic ovarian syndrome. And it's estimated that one out of 10 women, 10% 10 of women of childbearing age suffer from PCOS, polycystic ovarian syndrome. Two most important causes of PCOS are the hormonal effects of insulin and estrogen, particularly the toxic breakdown products, the metabolites of estrogen that accumulate under conditions of digestive distress. If you're dealing with any estrogen issue, the first thing to focus on is digestive health. Now, I know if you're dealing with any health issue, the first thing to think about is digestive health, but it's really important with estrogen. We give estrogen, uh, estrogen gets a bad name. There's a lot of diseases that are associated with excessive secretion of estrogen, but it's not so much the estrogen as it is the metabolites of estrogen, the breakdown products of estrogen, which accumulate under conditions of liver distress, under conditions of intestinal distress, dysbiosis, pancreatic issues, stomach issues. Estrogenic health challenges need to be regarded first and foremost as digestive health challenges. And of course, we know that insulin is also a food issue, largely. The two reasons why insulin, uh, insulin levels go awry are number one, too much sugar, too much insulin in spiking foods, and number two, cortisol, stress hormone. There's your triangle of disease, folks. Digestion, blood sugar, and cortisol. Digestion, blood sugar, and the adrenal thyroid complex. And this way, PCOS is a classic manifestation of the triangle of disease. And if you're confronted with PCOS, polycystic ovarian syndrome, and you want, you, you want to make your way out of it, it's not a drug issue. There is no drug on planet Earth that is going to be able to help you with your polycystic ovarian syndrome. And you're wasting your time if you go to an OBGYN. You're wasting your money if you try to go to a doctor. But you don't need a doctor. You don't need to go to an OBGYN if you're dealing with PCOS. Go back to the triangle. First, you focus on the intestine. First, you focus on the gut bacteria, the microbiome, the universe of bacteria that live in the intestine, the relationship between tox uh, detoxification and metabolism and breakdown of estrogen and, peace and uh, uh, probiotics, the microbiome. The relationship is clear. The microbiome plays a, if not the major role in detoxification of estrogen. I'm Pharmacist Ben. You're listening to The Bright Side. We shall return right after this. Deep. On the bright side, I'm Pharmacist Ben, 844-236-6010 is our number, 844-236-6010. Got lines open for you if you have questions about anything we're talking about here today. PCOS, green tea, DHT, or if you have a success story you'd like to share, contribute to the conversation. If you just want to contribute, we welcome your phone calls at 844-236-6010. And if you're on hold, we'll get to you momentarily. We do have a couple lines open at 844 236 6010. From JAMA Psychiatry, neuroscientists seek brain basis of craving in addiction and, bi and binge eating. New article by uh, in JAMA Psychiatry details the first step in revealing how craving works in the brain. This is also binge eating and also food addiction. Eating is really tricky. We eat way, way too much. We eat way more than the body needs. The body doesn't need a lot of food. Most of our eating is brain-based. Most of our eating is based in our psychology. 
If, you're, if you feel like you're addicted to food, and many of us are, I'm addicted to food, I can tell you that for sure. If you're craving food, if you can't stop eating food, recognize that it's not a physiologic problem, number one. It is a mental health problem. It's a mental issue. It's a sign that we're not satisfied. You know, when you put the spoon in the ice cream and you lift the spoon up to your mouth, it's impossible to think something lousy. Try it now. Try it with some kind of food you like. Try it with any food, food you're addicted to, and you'll notice that it's impossible to think something crappy, to think a bad thought as that spoon of ice cream is coming up to your mouth, up to the point where the ice cream hits your tongue or whatever food you're eating. I'm just using ice cream as an example. This is why we get addicted to food. We forget about our problems for that split second or that one second or two seconds that the food is coming from the, from the bowl into our mouth. And then, of course, we eat the ice cream, it melts on our tongue, and our crappy thoughts come back. And so we go back for more ice cream. You ever seen somebody when they run out of ice cream? I've done this myself. When you run out of ice cream, you're actually licking the side of the, uh, of the tub. Actually, some people will cut the tub out and lick the, lick the side of it to get more ice cream because it's the only time we get peace of mind. If you're addicted to food, rest assured it's a peace of mind issue. It's a contentment issue. It's a satisfaction issue. It's not a food issue. We've got to learn ways of becoming, uh, uh, of becoming content or satisfied with our lives. That's really the problem. We have this, uh, this baseline sense of discontent. Thoreau said, most people leave, uh, lead lives of quiet desperation. And that's what's underneath all of our addictions, not just food addictions. All addictive behaviors represent self-soothing. There are ways of calming, our, calming us down. There are strategies we use to calm our brains down. If you're addicted to food and you can't stop eating it, think of other strategies to calm down, to relax the body, relax the mind. This is where deep breathing can come in handy. This is where visualization techniques can come in handy. Cognitive therapy can come in handy. Just recognizing that our eating behaviors are associated, our eating addictions are associated with a lack of contentment can go a long way towards reducing them. We certainly don't need drugs to do it, although the medical model promotes them left and right. All right, from the British Medical Journal, this is from a study done in Massachusetts, Massachusetts General Hospital. Investigators suggest that following a diet known to reduce the risk of hypertension and cardiovascular disease may also reduce the risk of gout. Surprise, surprise. It's all the same thing, folks. Gout is arthritis. Arthritis is inflammation and an activated immune system. Inflammation and an activated immune system represent a defensive response. Again, calming the body down will go a long way towards not just reducing gout and hypertension, but reducing all health challenges. In this study, they linked the antihypertensive diet, DASH diet, which is a, a low salt blood pressure diet using fruits, vegetables, nuts, legumes, low dairy, uh, low dairy products, decreased sodium and sweetened beverages, basically eating well, although I'm not a big believer in low salt, but just basically eating well to reduce gout. Gout is known as the disease of kings. Why? Because kings used to eat all kinds of crappy food, high fat food, not necessarily high fat food, but high protein food, and lots of carbohydrates. And they would get gout. Gout's an eating disease. Gout is part of metabolic syndrome. Gout has, is related to blood sugar and insulin problems. And gout is also related to hypertension and cardiovascular disease. And that's why using the same basic strategies that we use for health, for all health challenges, cardiovascular health challenges, blood, blood vessel and circulatory health challenges will also reduce your risks, uh, reduce the risk of getting gout, which is absolutely miserable and painful. All right, 844-236-6010 is our number. Let's go to Anthony in Indiana. Good morning, Anthony. Welcome to the Bright Side. Hey, Pharmacist Dan, how are you doing? I'm doing good. What's up, man? How, how can we help you? Yeah, I just wanted to say again that I'm keeping you in my prayers Thank and you. thankful for the good work you're doing, the good info you're sharing. You obviously are passionate about what you do. Thank and you. And I just wanted to say, too, as a longevity distributor and a nurse, um, I've personally observed benefits from the health tools that you promote, such as awesome. deep breathing, both in the hospital and outside of the hospital. So really keep up the good work there. Thank you. I appreciate that, Anthony. How can I help you? Yeah, so um, I was actually curious. Um, I'm going to be heading west soon towards the Seattle region for a travel nurse assignment for a little over three months. 
I'm going to do that next week, and on the way, I'm planning on stopping by the Boulder, Colorado area. Oh, okay. And I was wondering if if it was available to stop by the Econo Comp Pharmacy in Boulder, uh, Colorado. What? Well, I sold my pharmacy a couple of years ago, so I no longer have it. But why don't you send me an email, ben at ksco.com. Put your phone number in there, and I'll call you, and we can talk. And I'll definitely, I'd definitely, i love to meet you. So send, send an email, ben at ksco.com, and include your phone number, and you and I will get together. Okay, what kind of nurse are you? That. What kind of nurse I've, nursing do you do? I work in the uh, progressive care setting, so I'm taking care of patients that are kind of in between that intensive care and medical nice. surgical care. Well, well thank so, you yeah. for your good work. Thank you. That's an awesome thing. Nurses run hospitals. I've worked in enough, enough hospitals to know it's not the doctors that run the place, it's the nurses. So uh, con- congratulations and thank you very much for your kind work. And uh, if, you send, uh, if you send me an email, ben at ksco.com, put your phone number in there. I'll call you back. And we'll figure something out, okay? All right. Thank you, sir. All right, thank buddy. You. Take care. Thanks, Anthony. All right. Let's go to James in Ohio. Good morning, James. Hello, Ben. Hello there, my friend. What's going on? <laughs> oh, David, the thumbs put me onto your area and said I should talk to you and uh, exchange a lot of information eventually. Okay. I'm a graduate engineer. I'm about the same age as Joel Wallach, and uh, I worked in 15 different states for about 30 years. <laughs> and I have, a, a what would I say, an acquaintance with the, the writers of the books, and I know how many people have already died. I'd love to talk to you about picking up some of the pieces of the people, what they left behind, meaning uh, maybe you know about the Edgar Casey files in Virginia. Oh, yeah. I know about Edgar Casey. Yes, sir. You, the Sleeping you Prophet. A, say again? The Sleeping Prophet. Well, the organization is followed apart by the uh, internal workings of the bureaucracy or whatever. I could go into detail. I'd rather not do it on your call today. But uh, when Dave and the Thumb and I were talking about this, he definitely said I <laughs> needed to go into some of the detail and some of the authors. I know in the videos, uh, uh, for, for instance... Uh, hey, uh, James, we're coming up on the break. Can you hang on? I'll, I'll let you finish up when we come back. I'm sorry. Fine, I hate to do that to you. Fine. Okay, hang on. Don't go away, James. We'll, get, we'll finish up when we come back. And uh, we'll try to get to all our calls today. 844-236-6010 is our number. I'm Pharmacist Ben. You're listening to The Bright Side on the Genesis Communication Network. All right, we are back on The Bright Side. Pharmacist Ben here, 844-236-6010 is our number, James in Ohio. So tell me about the sleeping prophet, James. I didn't quite understand how you were linking that up. Well, I've been on the mailing list ever since uh, 1971 when I signed up, so to speak, as a member. But the, the, I'm too I'm too keenly aware of this. Uh, what would I say? The ways and means of developing products and, and following the prescriptions that were given, and uh, so much of it's wasted now. They have an official supplier, which is ridiculous. That he's so to speak given a monopoly by the management down there in Virginia Beach. He's incompetent, if I may say that. Who is this he? Who are you talking about he? Well, the, the official supplier they have for ARE, Association for Research and Light, is over at, at Downingtown, Pennsylvania. And, okay. Uh, uh, see, I'm keenly aware of this ever since the 1970s. I attended a professional conference they had at that time. Uh, I, I don't know how much of the detail I dare mention in your program here. But you have my phone number from your board operator. You can acquire my phone number from uh, uh, Dave and the Thumb up there, and we can talk a little bit, and you can tell me what would be most useful. The products that were developed... Go ahead. The products that were developed from the 1800 series of the readings, are you familiar with any of it? No, no, I'm not. I know he was big on castor oil. I know that, and castor oil packs. Is that what you're talking about? Oh, (laughs) Yes, I'm quite familiar with it. I attended the clinic over in Arizona three times, and uh, that that fellow, that doctor's dead. Also, the uh, I could name a number of the people who are already dead and gone. And the the research and, and the material left behind is absolutely wonderful. Tom Johnson had the Heritage Store, which was something like an outgrowth of a health home remedies uh, corporation. Anyway, HHRC from 1935-1936 when Andrew Casey was alive. Today James, I, with- I'm, I'm, I'm losing you here. I'm not sure where you're going with this. Let me do this for uh, do you. You said the board op has your phone number, your personal phone number? 
Yeah, well, the phone number I've called in on, or you can talk to Dave in the sub. We, we were talking for about 40 gonna, minutes before. You I'm going to call you personally because I'm not sure where you're going with this. I don't, I don't want our listeners to get bored here. So I'm going to call you personally because it sounds kind of interesting to me, but I don't know if our listeners will find it that, are finding it that interesting. So uh, I'll give you a call later today. How's that, James? Fine. Thank you. All right, buddy. Take care. Thanks for your call, man. Appreciate it. Okay. All right. Uh, let's go to Jack in California see if we can help him out. What's going on, Jack? How you doing, man? Hey, Farms. It's been nice to talk to you. Same here. How you doing? Good. Um, Two quick questions. One is, uh, will a rotator cuff or a uh, ruptured shoulder heal without surgery? Mm -mm. I wouldn't mess around with that. I would definitely have some. I mean, I don't know how bad it is, but uh, if it's if it's severe enough that it's causing a a disruption in movement or causing you pain, I would definitely have a look at. And that that might be a time surgical when surgery is needed. Look, there are times when surgical procedures are necessary. Tears, ruptures, hernias. You know, when the body breaks down physically and there's that kind of there's a disruption in quality of life and in movement and and pain. Sometimes surgery is necessary. But here's the thing: if you do decide to have a surgical procedure, procedure done, and this is not just true for for Jack or for uh, a a torn rotator cuff, if you do decide to have surgical procedures done, recognize that there is no perfect surgeries, all surgeries are risky, most surgical procedures result in adhesions and scar tissues, and you can improve the prognosis of your surgery and minimize any problems associated with your surgery by loading up on nutritional supplements before and after, and making sure that you're taking care of all your digestive health strategies before and after. In other words, focusing on the triangle of disease before surgery and after surgery. And there's a couple, there's well, there's probably maybe nine or ten very important supplements that you want to take, including digestive enzymes, vitamin C, your Beyond Tangy Tangerine, vitamin E, zinc, vitamin A, protein, the amino acid arginine, all your building and repair substances are going to be very important pre-surgery, a couple of weeks pre-surgery, and then post-surgery, at least a couple of weeks pre-surgery, ideally more than that, but at least a couple of weeks pre-surgery and post-surgery, keeping your sugar intake down, working on digestive health, making sure you're minimizing toxicity or the work that the body has to do to detoxify sugar and detoxify other substances, general health strategies that we, ha- that we all have to do, but you have to do them more intensely pre-surgery and post-surgery. And don't let any physician tell you to lay off your supplements before you have your surgical procedure done. That's just boneheaded medical nonsense, medical dogma. Uh, doctors, and, and they mean well. I don't want to I don't want mean to insult the physicians. They mean well because they're afraid that somehow your nutrients are going to interfere with the surgical procedure. The opposite is true. You will have a better prognosis from your surgical procedure if you're loaded up with nutrition and you're taking care of all the dietary and, and other strategies, mental health strategies, relaxation strategies that we talk about here on the bright side. Does that help you, ma'am? That was uh, both questions answered in one fell swoop. You did great. Okay, Thank you. Good. Hey, one more thing. Don't forget cartilage and cartilage-containing pro- uh, cartilage containing substances and glucosamine. Very important for building connective tissue. Drink lots of bone soup. Uh, use aloe vera. Make sure you're using your glucosamine, your glucogel caps from Longevity. You can do cartilage capsules, hyaluronic acid uh, capsules, all the stuff that we talk about for building connective tissue. Thanks so much, Jack. Hope you helped Jack. Thank you very much, Pharmacist Ben. All right, take care, man. Good luck. All right, let's go to Oregon. Good morning, Carl the Truth Raider. What's up, buddy? How you doing? Good morning. I'm uh, hanging in there, and uh, nice to talk to my good friend, my true good friend from Boulder, Colorado. All right, <laughs> what's, what's going on? How can we help you, Truth Raider? Are you ready for the BTT jingle? Oh, you're going to play the jingle for me. That yeah, was a the, very cute jingle. The, Tell, give, give us a little setup, and then you can play the jingle. Okay. This is Beyond Tangy Tangerine. It's a spoof of the Beatles song. Uh, what is it called? Yellow Submarine. This is our hit. We're all drinking tangy tangerine. And where did you who, where did you get it from? Well, it's another network. It's, it's a good friend of yours that has another radio network. Tell, give her a plug. Don't be shy. Uh, Deborah, Deborah Stevens hey, at hey, Deb. uh, Logos Radio Network. And then they do a wonderful job over there at Logos Radio Network, and I hope Deb's yes. listening. Hello, Deb. So Deb produces this jingle, and I, I heard it for the first time a couple days ago when Truth Raider played it for me, but it's very cute. Let's, uh, why don't you play it for us? Okay, here we go.
Network.com by clicking on the Tangy Tangerine banner. Sign up as a preferred customer for wholesale prices or become a distributor and support Logos Radio Network.com. So what do you say, Elvis? Thank you very much. Are All right, I hope, I hope I don't get into too much trouble for that. I apologize if you get into any trouble. Uh, but that's very cute. Thank you for sharing that, Truth Raider. Anything else going on? I've got about a minute here. Yes. Um, I wanted to talk a little bit about parasites. This explosion on my leg, this rash, is either one of the two. I think it either is another shingle or perhaps I have parasites that are going on, and that's, it's, it's, my body's trying to let me know. It, it just, uh, uh, but, you know, the whole parasite thing, I, we all have parasites. Everybody's got parasites. You know, we live right. in the, it's a jungle out there, and we live in the symbiotic relationship sometimes, and we live in an antagonistic relationship sometimes with other life forms. They live in us, and they live on us. Our body is filled with entities that don't even know we exist, that just, have a, uh, that just live for themselves. We always talk about the microbiome. In a way, you can think of them as parasites, even though they're symbiotic. An embryo, you know, if you're make, having a baby, that's a parasite. So, you know, there's a, the word parasite just has this scary sound to it that, that seems to attract a lot of attention. If you have a skin problem, you want to first and form, foremost focus on the immune system, which is housed largely in the digestive tract. I've been in the skincare business now for 30 plus years and I'm telling you I've yet to see a skin problem that shows up spontaneously that is not linked somehow to digestive health issues. Truth Raider, you have a history of immune problems and shingles is a, a classic example of an immune problem. That's where I would be focusing on. When I talk about immunity, largely we're talking about digestive health because the immune system is located for the most part, probably 80% of your immune system, your defensive system is located in the digestive tract, which makes perfect sense because the digestive tract, the intestinal intestines specifically is the gateway into the blood. So it makes sense that your defensive system would be located or housed at that gateway, at that portal into the blood, because the body does anything it can do to protect itself, to protect the blood from becoming toxic. Thanks for your call, Carl. Appreciate it, buddy. And thanks so much for listening, folks, to The Bright Side. I'm Pharmacist Ben. Please check out our Truth Skin Health products at truthtreatments.com. If you're dealing with accelerated aging skin or you want to prevent accelerated aging or you've got acne blemishes or if you've got hyperpigmentation, check out check them all out at truthtreatments.com or Truth Balm, Truth Serum, Truth Omega-6 Healing Cream, and Truth Retinol 5% Gel. And then make sure you take a look at our longevity products at criticalhealthnews.com, brightsideben.com, and pharmacistben.com. Have yourselves a wonderful day. Beautiful, spectacular day. I'm Pharmacist Ben. We'll talk to you all later. Bye for now.